What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to your weekly roundup. If you guys are not at your console and are looking for a video, a very quick video to show ye everything that is in a dream team and everything that they have added today, Thursday, the 30th of March. So we are going to start off with a dream team here itself and show you the new events. So obviously we have the round of qualifiers that are open. If you've qualified for these challenge matches, you can enter this. It ends in three days. So it's a weekend league effectively. You get 500 football points. You just enter in here, obviously agree to the terms. And then this is if somebody has qualified, all you need to do is score one goal in the first part and then you know get a win, get two wins, nine points and 12 points. So effectively to win this and to complete this, in you, you need to work through these, right? And then obviously, once you get to this one, you pretty much need to win four out of five of your games. So you need to have an 80% win ratio for these. It is tough. Um, so let me know if you are going to go for that. But yeah, that is that is quite tough. We also have the English League, which is your rinse and repeat. You're playing against the AI with your bonus players. You get a free spin at the player of the week. Um, we also have this one and the English League. This is for your eFootball coins 50 coins and then the rest of the events are as normal but yeah they're the three events that you have there the eFootball league right so that is going to be rebooting on the sixth of the fourth so you have one week left to play your divisions right we are in division three at the moment we will be streaming and we will be trying to get up to division two on the stream so that'll be interesting as well but that's going to be reset on the 6th of april and then after that we do have a couple of new campaigns right so this is a special april campaign they're currently holding a login campaign where you can get up to 140,000 gp just by logging into the game do also check out the challenge event that challenge event you can get 40,000 gp with 50 coins right so they're the challenge events that we just looked at um from additional player slots to legacy transfers many more earn gp and utilize them in future updates right so there's going to be a lot of stuff coming obviously in v2.5 um, but you just li literally need to log in the same as you'd be logging in any other day. Um, so there's not much, you know, complicated about that. Moving on to the players, we have got three new epic Liverpool players. Some have re released before, but yeah, I have done reviews on all of these. If you guys want to check them out on Gerard, Torres and Alonso. Bit disappointing in a few of those cards, but we will get into that in the review if you want to check it out. We also have a Japanese epic pack as well, Kubo, Nakamura and Seto. Them guys, Kubo is a monster. Let's check that out as well. And then, of course, we have what everybody is talking about. One touch pass, 96 overall, Cristiano Ronaldo. And we have Declan Rice, who has one touch pass and is also an anchorman. The first card he has as anchorman. McTominay is a super sub, a very well-rounded player. And there are the rest of them. We've also done, you guessed it, a review on all of these as well. And we will be testing out a couple of these when we do the stream as well. So, yeah, there is a lot of stuff coming, obviously, for V2.5. But for now, I think it's mostly about content, um, you know, and player packs and stuff like that. So there are the three packs for that. And then, of course, we do have them players that are still there, the eFootball volume 2 and the rest of the stuff there was a, 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 a video as well that i did and i don't know if i released it yet but it was basically a video on how to get free uh free e-football points so you can top up your e-football points with 3000 which is fairly interesting as well very easy to do and then of course you always have your login bonuses here they've added nothing as far as i can see to the shop you have obviously got new objectives for the round one of the championship open the match pass as well that is going to be reset on the 13th of april and i think we're going to get a big update on around that that, that time you know the 13th 14th of april um e-football points we don't have anything added to that um them players are all still the exact same so it would be a good time to pick up them if you want there's a few of them ending in six days and then the items they are running a campaign where you can get these at a reduced price um everything is kind of reduced apart from the contract renewal so yeah look that is pretty much it lads for me um we will be back quite soon it's just a weekly roundup let me know what you think uh about it and uh yeah let me know if you're kind of what kind of way you are with the game at the moment because i know that there's a lot of stuff to be coming in v2.5 but for now i think it is going to be until then um, that we'll need to wait for stuff to come if that makes sense we also i just noticed one thing as well if you look at the top right of the screen there you can see i think what looks like three new icons so you have the gp you have a ball and you have like two little triangle things like two little um they look like the, the rupees from uh zelda actually except in white instead of green but anyway 
I think that they could be new iconic or new icons that they're doing. Or maybe it's just a design. Maybe I'm reading way too much into it. Um, but I do. I am interested to see how they're going to include what they talk about in V two point five here, um, which will be releasing in April, right? So I am interested to see how they're going to add the feature to add player skills to existing players. Like that's going to be extremely interesting. Doesn't mean that I can trade in my phenomenal finish in Haaland and put it on Romario. You know, there's a lot of questions that still need to be there, but. You know we will be here answering them all and going through them all with you as well. Yeah, so that's it, lads. I will be back quite soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content. And uh, happy eFootball gaming, I guess. And may the lag be with you. Peace.